Um, no, I read the book. Yeah. It's a bit did of a, you? Yeah, I did. It's, it's a bit of a tearjerker. Did you read it all? Yeah, I did. <laughs> did you really? I'm back again. I read it twice. <laughs> um, now, Brian seems a little bit missing from family life. Is that the case or is he, yeah. is he in contact with the kids? He lives in Australia. How often do they speak? Do they see each other? Uh, they see the dad about twice a year. That's quite shocking. Yeah, I think it is. Do they speak um, every week or? Um, um, as far as I'm aware, not every week. So, so would you say that he's kind of abandoned the kids a little bit for? Yeah, I think I think uh, I'm not here to slag Brian off. I'm just stating facts. I, I think, you know, I never had a dad myself, and I think um, any kind of man who moves to the other side of the world. And, and leaves their children, I, I don't think it's acceptable. And I think what annoyed me most about, about that whole situation was when I was at my lowest ebb, you know, rather than coming and helping with the children, you know, to go on national television and do interviews that slag me off as a parent. It's like, hang on a minute, I'm bringing up the kids on my own, you know, not getting financial help or anything, you know, give me a break. Does he not financially help you? Uh, we're true, we're getting there. That's good. Um, I mean, I'd give anything to ring Brian up and his wife and say, what parents evening tonight, fans coming along? I think that'd be amazing, even for the kids. Sports says you, you and your missus want to come along. They've got a play, do you want to come watch? It sounded in the book like he was ready to make that step and go take you for dinner and things, yeah. but then it just got cut short. Yeah, it got cut short. I mean, I knew it would never happen, but I thought, oh my God, it's a work in progress. And I don't want people to get... Um, the wrong impression when I say that, oh, we're getting back to get it wasn't that for me. It was a massive step for the kids as well. I think they've seen me and their dad in the room once, you know, since we split, which I think is really, really sad. I've got no animosity to Brian. I just hate the fact he's abandoning his kids. I'd give anything, say, you know, do you want to come pick him up for Christmas morning and drop him off Christmas night? You know, and I love to have that kind of relationship with him, but unfortunately it doesn't exist. Can we move on to the Yeah, of course we can. Um, sure. So, um, you said about the. Have you spoken to Mark recently? Have you heard? No, from we him? haven't heard of Mark since 19th of February this year. I think he sent his son a text on his birthday. Well, that's a good thing for you, not for the kids, though, is no, it? No, um, no, it isn't a good thing, and um, you know, it's just really sad. I just pick dreadful men, don't I? <laughs> men are mean. Men are mean. Um, now, you said in the book about um, you felt a bit sorry for Mel B and her husband, Stephen. Um, it was, he reminded you of a little bit of you and Mark, mm. a little bit controlling. Can mm. you expand on that at all? Well, Danielle Brown is one of my bestest friends in the world, and her mum and her dad. And, you know, they're, also, they're like my family, and I know what they're going through. I mean, they miss, they miss Melanie, you know, massively, and their grandkids. And I can only go off from what they've told me. I don't know anything about Melanie B's personal life or anything. Just the situation from what I've been told from them. I kind of see it like that. He's a little bit of a, maybe controlling a little yeah. bit like Mark was. Um, now Chantel's also been <gasps> so a little bit so bogged down. I feel so sorry for her. That's I mean, I could sit here and go, you know what, stop tweeting. Go on holiday with Dolly and your mum and get some sun. Because <laughs> she needs it. Do you reckon, would you have any advice for her? Can you reach out to her at all? Just say, Sean, this should be the happiest time of her life right now with, you know, a, a little infant and, but it's not, I feel really sorry for her.